your mouth. Come here. What is this? What the heck is that? Thank you. Thank you for giving it to me. Good morning. It's about 6.30. Canyon woke up at 5.30 today. Pretty early. Went in his room. I tried to give him a bottle and try to get him to go back to sleep. Laid him in his crib. It did not work. <laughs> I laid in bed and listened to him babble for like another 20 minutes, 25 minutes. I thought for a second he was going to go back to sleep because he got really quiet and he was laying still. And I was like, yes. And then I started hearing the babbling and I look at the monitor and he's just like sitting up in the crib. And I'm like, great. So we started our day around six. Had a slow little moment on the couch. We usually like snuggle for a few minutes before he starts playing. It's like my favorite part of the day. But now I'm having my coffee and oh my gosh, he's going for the stairs. He's so mobile now. Not walking, but like everywhere. Baby. You be careful. You going up the stairs? <sighs> the days of sitting still and drinking my coffee are behind me for now for now Hi. baby can we come back down please good morning canyon i'm making breakfast baby I meal prepped these muffins and I put half of them in the freezer and half of them in the fridge. These are spinach, banana, oatmeal muffins with cottage cheese and eggs. Anyways, so I meal prepped a bunch of these yesterday and they're really easy to have ready for breakfast. a little bit. I think it's because I actually used a spinach and baby kale blend. The kale is a little bit stronger flavor than if you just used only spinach, but that's why they're so green. But the banana makes them sweet. And yeah, I put like three eggs, two bananas, half teaspoon of baking soda, cinnamon, half a cup of cottage cheese, handful of spinach and kale, and then I put some of the oatmeal in the blender. I would say like I put a fourth cup of oatmeal in the blender with all the other ingredients. And then after it was all blended up, then I mixed in another, at least a half cup of oatmeal, but I was kind of just eyeing it until it got to a good muffin texture, like not too runny, not, not dry, you know? And then I put them in the oven for I started at 12 minutes and then I think I added like three minutes. So it was probably like 15, 16 minutes total at 350. And he loves them. It's pretty healthy because there's eggs and cottage cheese for protein. And then, oh, I used quick oat, quick oatmeal, organic from Whole Foods. That way the oats like cook better in the oven for that shorter-ish amount of time. Yeah, he's loving them. I usually try to make a batch of meal prepped muffins for the freezer like once a week. If I made more, I wouldn't have to do it once a week, but it makes about Dad. nine muffins. So that I could make the recipe bigger, but it just always ends up being about nine. So that's approximately three or four breakfasts. And I'll alternate it some days just making him eggs and spinach with toast. Or some days he just has the muffins with usually like blueberries or some sort of fruit. Is that so yummy, buddy? He will eat three or four of these if I let him. You don't have to defrost them necessarily. I usually put them frozen into the microwave on defrost for a couple rounds. 
but these ones were in the fridge since I just made them yesterday. I put a couple in the fridge. I might defrost another one for him because I don't think two is gonna be enough. He's a really big eater. I love sneaking in vegetables in breakfast because then it's just kind of peace of mind for the rest of the day. He has gotten more picky lately. So even like I used to mix in zucchini or broccoli into his pasta with the sauce on it and he will pick those pieces out and throw them on the ground or he will spit them out, which is very frustrating. But if I put spinach in his eggs or like spinach in his muffins, at least I know he's getting some vegetable for the day. I also saw something like, as long as they're also getting fruit, you don't have to stress about it too much because there are a lot of good vitamins in fruit and unfortunately toddlers are just naturally very picky. So we do the best we can. up at a gym that has childcare and it's been a really nice kind of little break for me some days. Their hours are kind of annoying because they're closed for childcare from 2 to 4 and Canyon's on a one nap schedule. He usually naps from like 11.30 to 1.30 or 2 and so going at 2 would be ideal for us because it'd be right after nap time he'd be happy and you know, just get us through the afternoon, but unfortunately they're closed. So then the only other good time for us to go is in the morning before his nap. So I try to get there early and yeah, we are just gonna, I mean, sometimes we go in the afternoon, like at, at the four o'clock time as well, but today I just want to get it out of the way and yeah. He can get his wiggles out. He's been very wiggly. He has a lot of energy this week. I mean, I know little kids, <laughs> they do be having a lot of energy, but I feel like something has changed recently where like, he's just so curious and wants to explore and it's really cute, but also <laughs> really tiring, so. It'll be good for him. He's warming up to going to the gym, child care center. He at first had a really hard time. So like they would call me after 15, 20 minutes and, and they'd be like, he's just not really calming down. Can you come get him? And I'm like, yeah, of course. Like I don't want to leave him there if he's unhappy. I don't want him to be traumatized. But then at the same time, like he needs to, like I want them to, you know try to comfort him too and I think they do but anyways 
It took us about five or six times of going. Well, the first time we went, he actually did great. And I was like, cool, we're not gonna have an issue. And then the second, third, and fourth time we went, he did worse, worse, and worse, where it was like, they were calling me after 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you know, whatever. I was not able to finish a workout class. Anyways, so on the sixth time that we went, I was actually able to finish a whole workout class. So he was there for, my workout class was 45 minutes. I also wanna use this time to be able to work on a few things if I need to respond to a couple emails or edit something. So then I had a couple of coffee and was like working on my phone for like 20 minutes. And then I went and got him and they were like, he was so happy today. And he was playing with the toys and the other kids. So I think he is starting to enjoy it. And I'm so relieved because I think it's gonna be so good for us just to have a, something to do, not be in the house all day. He can, socialize and I can do something that's good for me so yeah I'm really excited about it at first I was nervous like I don't know if this is even gonna work because I could not get through a class but we stuck with it so we'll see how he does today I am nervous because he woke up really early today which means he gets tired earlier but I probably won't leave him there too long probably just an hour and then we'll go home, play a little bit more, and then we'll have nap time. Well, we lasted about 22 minutes. That's what my treadmill said. I did a nice walk at a little bit of an incline. I barely made it. I, I did like only a mile and a half. I felt like I was walking fast, but apparently I was not walking fast. But I was on the incline, so I'll cut myself some slack. But they ended up calling me and telling me to come get Canyon, so. I was going to do Stairmaster after, and I was going to do a little floor mat Pilates, like a 10 minute little thing, video, but didn't get to that. That's okay. Some days are better than others. I had a feeling he would get cranky because he got up so early today, and also we haven't been in a few days. I feel like when we go closer together, it's better, but he was kind of like snotty and coughing, so I didn't want to bring him last week, so I had been... It's been like five days since we've been, which isn't that long, but maybe he already forgot. <laughs> so we're gonna go home. It's only probably like 9 a.m. and we still have a little while till nap time. Yee. Canyon wants to tell you about his experience. Canyon, did you have a good time at the kids club? Okay, we're gonna go home, buddy. I just took a shower while Brian is playing with Canyon, but Canyon is getting pretty cranky this morning because he's tired from waking up so early. I'm just trying to get him to 11 o'clock before I put him down because otherwise he will not take a very long nap and then he won't take a second nap, so it'll just throw off the whole day. So I'm just trying to get through the next 30-ish minutes. It's like almost 10.30 and then I will put him down and I need to get like fully ready today because we are filming for a podcast. So this afternoon my friend Kendall is going to come over with her son and we have a babysitter to watch the boys together downstairs while we record our podcast. 
we do it at my house in my spare room. So I'm not gonna get fully ready right this second. I'm just gonna brush out my hair and then uh, I will get fully ready after I put Canyon down for his nap in a few minutes. And then I need to chill for a little because I feel like this has been a very tiring morning already. We made it to 11. Canyon's in bed. I'm back in bed. I feel like I just need to take a nap. Getting up at 5.30 multiple days a week with a toddler, I think is just a different level of tired. And I know a lot of moms like do it on purpose or like they get up before their kid to have some alone time. And I think that sounds lovely, but I just really have not recovered from lack of sleep this last year because he still sometimes wakes up in the night and I'm just so tired and especially getting back into working out I think that it's really depleting my energy when I used to work out before it used to give me a boost of energy but now I just feel so tired after I think it's just that my muscles are repairing themselves and I'm just getting back into it so I'm going to just rest for 30 minutes little power nap or just lay here and then I'm gonna finish getting ready and then it'll be about noon and I'll continue on with my day but that was my morning thanks for joining and subscribe for more day in the life as a mom videos that's all for now till next time